Hi friends, this is Akhil Reddy from Akhil Reddy Technologies, Hyderabad. I have 10 plus years of experience in the area of software testing in which 8 plus years of experience using automated tools like QTP and Selenium. Today I will teach you testing process end to end. Today I will teach you testing process end to end. First point, FRS review. First point, FRS review. Whenever you are working with any software company, first of all, we need to do FRS review. FRS review. FRS means functional requirement specification. This requirements directly given by the customer. First of all, we need to know we need to understand all the requirements very clearly. We should know what customer expecting. Each and every software company, they will give 15 to 20 days for only review the FRS document. Second point, test plan review. Second point, test plan review. Test plan document prepared by test lead, and usually test plan document prepared by test lead how to complete particular project successfully he will list out all the points very clearly in the test plan document we need to follow the test plan and it is very important to the particular project next point brs business requirement specification first of all we should know what is main difference between FRS and BRS? FRS, this is the customer final requirement document. This document consists all the customer functional requirements as well as non-functional requirements. BRS means business requirement specification. This document prepared by business people or business analyst. The business tells what they want for the application to do. In simple word, BRS contain the functional requirement of the application. And we need to review the BRS. While doing review, if you have any doubts, we will list out in review report and we will send it to business analyst. That means it is reporting. Fourth point, participating. Participating. The review participating the uh, review meetings participating the review meetings each and every software company they will conduct review meetings for sharing the information they conduct this meeting this me review meetings so we will participating the review meetings each and every software company regularly they will conduct review meetings why they are conducting into sharing the information next next point identifying the scenarios identifying the scenarios scenarios identifying the scenarios identifying the scenarios before writing the test cases we need to find out test scenarios for example we have a login application we need to test so we need to enter username and password and we need to click on login button this is one scenario so we need to identify the all the scenarios in the application next prior prioritizing the scenarios prioritizing the scenarios scenarios so first of all we should know what do you mean by priority for example we have some defects in what sequence defect has to be rectified in what sequence defect has to be rectified it's classified into four types critical high medium low based on the situation we will give the priority based on the situation we will give the priority next 
next point to designing the test cases designing the test cases designing the test cases next point to designing the test cases test case is nothing but it is an idea of testing in it based on the customer requirements we will write the test cases each and every software company they will maintain own test case template using in this template we will write the all the test cases next involving involving the peer reviews involving the peer reviews peer means colleague we need to participate peer review meetings usually we will involve into peer reviews we will involve into peer reviews next to sending the test case document to tcd sending the test case document to lead for review for a lead review lead review after writing the test cases we need to send the test case document to lead if it is any corrections he can do next refining refining the design based design based on peer or lead comments or lead comments comments after conducting the peer review or lead review if they are if they give any comments and suggestions we need to follow and simply we can say fine tuning we will rectify the all the mistakes next point getting the approval for the design from ba getting the approval getting the approval for the design from BA. BA means business analyst. Whenever getting the approval from business analyst, we will execute the all the test cases in test case template. Next to SRN study. SRN study. Next SRN study. SRN means software release note. It is a note prepared by technical department people and sent to testing department. It contains build path information, test data path information, deployment document path information, known issues path information, released manager name, released date, build number, version number, project name, module name. After sending, we will estimate the scope also. Next, 13 point deployment document study deployment document study deployment document study 13th point deployment document study deploying the build into test environment each and every software company people they will prepare deployment document deployment document means it is a set of instructions how to install the application into customer place they will prepare one installation document or deployment document using that deployment document we will install the application into the customer specified environment 14th point conduct to sanity testing conduct to sanity testing sanity testing this is the one of the type of testing initially we will perform sanity testing after releasing the build development department to testing department we will do this sanity testing why we will do this uh, sanity testing in order to check whether it is proper further detailed testing or not there is any scope to perform testing or not we will check 
next 15th point proceeding the functional performing the functional testing performing the functional test or proceeding the functional testing performing the functional testing or proceeding the functional testing functional testing means we will perform actions on the functionality then only we can say that functionality is properly working or not customer expected results is coming or not so we will do functional testing and 16th point defects reporting defects reporting after finding the defects we need to raise the defect to development department for that each and every software company they will provide defect profile template using this defect profile template we will raise the defects to the developers this defect profile template contains defect id defect description and uh, steps for reproducibility submitter date of submission version number build number and assigned it to these fields contains this uh, defect profile template contains these fields uh, uh, only whenever you are raising the defect you should follow this uh, template format then only developers will accept the defects 71 getting the modified build getting the modified modified build from development to team yeah whenever you are raising the defect developers will rectify and they will send they will once again they will send to testing department once again we will do fair from testing on the modified build next to re and regression testing re and regression testing re and regression testing re and regression testing the, the the modified we will perform on the modified build re and regression testing on modified build after getting the modified build we will perform different different types of testing like regression testing or retesting First of all, we should know what do you mean by regression testing? Regression testing means we will perform testing on the application once again, again and again. We will perform. That's why that is called regression testing. Next, retesting means we will test the functionality again and again with multiple sets of data or different sets of data. And 19th one, performing system testing. perform system testing after installing the application we will perform different different types of testing we will perform native testing as well as positive testing also why we will do native testing in order to find out the stability of the application a test engineer should have native mind setup then only you will become a good test engineer whenever you are doing native testing we can get more defects that's why we will do negative testing and we will do system testing after installing the application into one environment we will perform different different types of testing so that is called system testing we will perform system testing also last 20th point that is test closer test closer test closer document is nothing but the document which is which having the details of test pass as well as test fail results that means in test case document how many test cases passed and how many test cases failed we will prepare one document that is test closer this is total end to end testing process if you want more videos please subscribe me thank you